Hey everyone, it's your girl Baki the Gem. If you want to see how I achieve my everyday makeup look, please keep watching. Um, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe and hit that bell so you can get notifications whenever I post. And give this video a thumbs up. So let's get right into it. So this is a disclaimer. Um, I'm not a makeup artist and this is just how I personally do my makeup and other people might do it differently so don't come for me if I do my makeup a specific way that y'all aren't used to but yes this is just how I do it personally and my philosophy is if it comes out good who cares how I do it so I started off with my eyebrows already done but if y'all want an in-depth eyebrow video I can give y'all one but I like to start off with my foundation I'm using the makeup from the professional ultra HD foundation and I just squirt about two pumps on the mirror just because I don't want to use my hand. And I like to do dots just because I feel like when you put the, the product on your brush, it takes up most of it. But whenever you put it on your face already, you get more out of it. Now I'm just going in with the brush and I'm blending it. I like to use a brush to blend my foundation in not a beauty blender because like I said a beauty blender soaks up the product and with the brush it's just better to me <laughs> so I'm taking a real small brush and I'm using a color corrector from my Ruby's Kisses 3D Contour Kit and it's all creams and this is basically all the LA Girl Pro Concealers in one. There's eight different colors and I think it's a good investment if you're trying to go cheap. So I'm just using a brush to blend in the spots I want to correct it. That's the palette right there. And I'm just using a color that's similar to my skin color. I'm not sure the exact name because they don't put names on it. And I'm going underneath my eyes. Now I'm just using a label brush and I'm going in with the darkest color and I believe it's mahogany if you just get the concealers separately. And I'm using this to contour. Now I'm taking a smaller angle brush and contouring my nose with the same color. Now I'm taking, which I believe that would be Warm Honey, and I'm using it to highlight, and I'm putting it on my eyelids. And since you could barely see it, I'm lighting even a lighter color, and um, there I go saying yeah. You can finally see it. That's better. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in with the brush. Or you can use a beauty blender, but I personally wanted to use the brush. I'm using my finger to blend in my contour and highlight on my nose just because I feel like since that area is really small, a brush might not help. This brush, I'm going to be using it a lot throughout this video. I use it for everything. It's so cool. I don't even remember where I got it from. Now I'm just taking the same brush I used to contour and I'm just taking the brush that I'm going to use for everything and I'm blending that in. Now I'm taking 
taking two highlighters. That is the NARS um, in the color Seduction and Milani's um, Rose de Oro. And these are two blushes that are really good for dark skins, in my opinion. Now I'm just taking some baking powder. I don't even know who this is by, and I've had it forever. I don't even know if it's baking powder. It's probably just powder foundation that's too light for me, but yeah, it does the job. I'm just taking a beauty blender and putting it in all the places it needs to be. setting I'm using two eyeshadow palettes I'm gonna go in with the Saharan by Juvia palette in the color Katsina as a base color and since this is an everyday look I don't want to add too much eyeshadow on I just want it to look natural now I'm taking my naked palette too and I'm using half baked and busted just to give my eyes like a dark brown shade and I felt like you couldn't see Katsina enough so I went through with Booty Call and used it on top of my base. Now that I'm done, I'm just going to use the same brush and blend in my baking powder. I'm just taking an eyeliner. You can use any <laughs> eyeliner, and I didn't want to record me putting it on because, yeah, that's hard. I'm just taking the Kat Von D's. Um, powder foundation in the color deep 72 and now I'm taking my highlighter I believe this is by JCAT I just got it at my local beauty supply highlighting my nose my cupid's bow I feel like the brush wasn't doing the job taking my L'Oreal Paris mascara now that is my blossom lip gloss it's a really cheap lip gloss I got from Rue 21 for like seven dollars it smells really good and it's really cute and that's Bamplify by MAC in the color go for pretty and it's like a frosty color but it's not too frosty this spray was in my last video. I use it for everything. I just used it as a spray, you know. <laughs> Here I am just parting my hair. If y'all want, I can give y'all the details on my hair in another video. And I'm just flattered. So this is my finished look for my everyday makeup routine for dark skins. Thank you for watching. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up, comment down below your favorite part, and thanks for watching. Bye! Mwah.